Hello Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 17th going to the 23rd of January. So let's have a look and see what's going on for you guys for the week ahead. All right, let's see. I like this. Um, this is really about cutting out karmic cycles. And this is also situations as well as love relationships. Um, I feel like we're walking towards something better, which is good. But this is asking for consistency and self-belief. This can be a really good time for affirmations and mantras and really connecting to yourself. And just putting one foot in front of the other, especially when things feel tough. I will say this does require removing yourself from situations which you might not want to hear. But at the end of the day, with the Empress coming through on the bottom of the deck, Gemini, you deserve a lot in life. And if you sit in that energy and you remind yourself of everything that you are worthy of and everything that you deserve because you've been through too much Gemini to to even question it uh, anymore you know life is way too short I feel like you're gonna start to manifest things it, it, there's just saying spirit is almost coming in here Gemini sorry there's a lot of intuitive things coming through because that is talkative today it's, it's really coming up here but um it's almost saying here this all you need to do is believe in yourself and just put one foot in front of the other as an empress she attracts she doesn't need to chase so things will start to come your way um which makes things a little bit easier for you so spirit is on your side but with the round and round card it does say we have to pull away from things that are taking our energy way too much now something you're going to know whatever this is because there is never a happy ending to this it's round and round same old crap every single day um push forward push away from this and it may be difficult of course we have the five of cups being the first card out which of course ends up being the strongest energy coming through for you guys this is about disappointments but what you are losing and what you're letting go of and the things that you are disappointed about are not matching your frequency of who you are and where you want to be in the future. So just understand that the more that you remind yourself of that, it's best for you to walk away from this. It's best for you to leave the situation behind. Of course, it brings great sadness and great loss with the Five of Cups and a great disappointment. Um, but you can't change this. This is not a part of your destiny. And regardless, I feel like this is just part of uh, a comic lesson here. Why? It feels cruel to say um, when I say that, but why? When you realize where you're going to be within the next few months, especially the next three months here, we have two threes coming through, three on the Empress and three on this card, um, you'll realize why it wasn't serving you. Because right now you can't see it because you're in between. You kind of do have some dreams and goals. You do sit in this Empress energy every now and again, but sometimes we kind of become a bit cold we kind of go back to the uh, same old things and the same old habits and that's nothing to be ashamed of by the way we're all human i would never ever disregard that you you guys are fully entitled to have your days off you're fully entitled to feel a little bit down and low one day but as long as we pick ourselves back up and i believe that you can here gemini i really do believe that you can you are moving very nicely into something greater okay so number threes could be a sign for you guys um which is a good sign that you are again becoming more aligned to your path and your journey, which is great. Uh, but the round and round card is saying, in order to see change, we have to make a change. This is about letting go of anything that's keeping you stuck. Relationships, situations that aren't serving you anymore, bad habits, internal thoughts. Also, uh, this is like an all rounder for you guys. Whatever resonates with you, take it. If it doesn't, then don't. Um, but what I'm really saying here, Gemini, is that some things need to go, all right? So that you can heal from them, so that you can understand your worth. I feel like spirit's stripping you down to the bare minimum so that you can see that you don't need that stuff and be open to other things that are coming away in life okay let's see what's coming through let's clarify the five of cups the empress coming back out i can't make this up look this when you turn around and instead of looking at what you can't change anymore and the things that just disappointed you um you start to recognize your worth here we shouldn't be in this energy for too long again if you feel upset about something then absolutely grieve it mourn it absolutely um this is perfectly normal and i want you to process your emotions but don't process them so much that we become stuck in this state because this ends up becoming into depression this becomes you know you lack energy because your energy is literally going towards this and trust me it happens to the best of us uh, a lot of the time the moment that you turn around and see what is still standing you have yourself here you have who you are as an empress the person who attracts and doesn't chase the person who knows their worth and a lot of you gemini you are love you are abundant four 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 and o'clock as i'm saying this here you guys are worthy of a lot of things don't let mistakes and don't let things that didn't go your way 
let you um, get you down, okay? In order to get back your energy, if you have been feeling low, is to kind of stop thinking about the things that you can't change, okay? The emperor coming in, what is going on? We have an offer of, uh, yes, I'm hearing an offer of an, like an opportunity coming through here. Of course, we have to talk about how we have the divine counterparts coming up for you guys. Uh, this could very much be um, a solid offer coming in from, again, someone who is very stable, someone who's very mature, could be potentially a little bit older than you here, someone who's very wise, someone who wants to take action towards you, which is great. Um, for some of you, this feels like a new person because this person is now on your frequency someone's on a higher level which is great but again sitting in this energy you're not going to be able to see the two cups behind you which is this new person coming in who is matching your energy now okay um for others of you this is really good in terms of i want you to process your emotions but again build yourself up emotionally i want to talk about the heart space here uh, and take action in terms of your career with this energy too this is about finding the, the divine balance within yourself here gemini i like this any new career paths coming your way some of you could be starting your own business you could be investing in yourself at this time this is a very fortunate time for you to be able to do that there is growth here uh 2022 could be an incredible year for those of you who are starting your own businesses um, especially if you're in the second year of business, I'm hearing for those of you out there, this looks good for you. All right, this is nice. Someone wants to invest in you, Gemini. This feels nice. The divine feminine, let's just talk about this, is really in her emotions. The divine masculine is coming through with solutions. Ooh. The Ten of Swords, sorry, it was the only card really coming through there. This could have been an ending of some kind. Clarify. Interesting. This could definitely be like an apology coming through, by the way. Because someone's been feeling really low. And this is like a, this is so strange. Should the Ten of Swords here? And my nose is itching. Um... I do see a relationship coming through for you, but it's coming through an ending first of all. There is a, I'm also seeing some, some kind of proposal for some of you guys too. Uh, this could be, again, um, like an actual engagement or it could be taking things to the next level. Uh, I also see a really good job offer coming in for you guys too. But you had to end one thing, be disappointed about that for a little while to turn around, to see the positives, to believe in yourself, to be able to take action towards something better in terms of your career, especially. The Ten of Swords is not easy to deal with. So some of you could have lost your job. Some of you could have just had a very painful and difficult ending here. You needed time, patience here with the Temperance card. You needed time to balance yourself, to, re to remind yourself that there is both good and bad in everything, okay? And a bad ending means some good beginnings elsewhere. And again, in terms of career here, Gemini, I like this for you. I like this for you. But uh, as always with the Ten of Swords, it always says, you know, things are rising back up again. And for others of you, Gemini, you could have come out of a really difficult relationship here and you're moving towards something better. Okay, with the Two of Cups coming in. Could be a Libra. Aries, Taurus here too. Anything else for Gemini? The sun card. I was saying that, yes, dawn is always coming. The sun always rises. So from some disappointment, there is going to be some very, 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 very good news. This is why it's asking for you to kind of come out of your head here and see something. There is an opportunity, again, coming through here. A uh, very passionate new beginning coming through that you do not see just yet. And it'd be very hard to see when our back is turned towards things, all right? Um, there is some amazing, incredible new opportunity that is going to lead to celebration here and progress. And of course, the between worlds, as I was saying here, is saying that as you keep placing one foot in front of the other, it's not asking you to do much. You don't need to run towards something if you don't have the energy for it. But one foot in front of the other every single day, one little bit of progress every single day and consistency is leading you someplace incredible and some very, very good things are happening. In terms of relationships, again, it does feel like a separation is here. The two of you will come together again. This is your soulmate. Um, 
not the person who lied and cheated, not the toxic one. This is someone here who grows. This is someone here who takes initiative. This is someone here who, um, yes, can sometimes be in our emotion and can make mistakes at the end of the day. Uh, again, not cheating and lying. That's not a mistake here. Um, but is someone who makes mistakes, is only human, but comes out of it. All right, there's some teamwork coming through in relationships. And this is also good for business partnerships too, because I am seeing celebration here, which is nice. I'm seeing a really good partnership. Cancerian energy coming through, balance, determination, and focus on the future. This is incredible. The moment that we do this and recover from heartbreak here, positive changes are coming in. Someone is apologetic here. Um, here we go. For feeling a little bit stuck, for again, being a little bit... I, they feel like they've been a bit toxic here, this water sign. This, this water sign feels a bit toxic. This person... Okay, I'm, I can feel something here for some of you. This is very specific for some of you, Gemini. This person felt like you were going to leave them. So I think they self-sabotaged um, and thought so much about it. There could have been some hostilities here. This was their mistake and they will um, accept that. Someone has some toxic traits. There could be an apology coming through here. They're heartbroken, but again, depending on who this person is, there's some good positive changes coming through and some news coming through. It's going to help you be balanced and, and move forward, okay? Which we love. I'm just going to pull some love cards out considering this is what we're talking about right now for Gemini. We have karmic relationship, all right? We have girl talk coming through here. So this is saying we need to kind of come outside of any karmic situations here. Be happily single here. I think that this is when you're attracting in a true soulmate here. Absolutely. Absolutely. With sunflowers as a because yes th look at this this is so interesting because i'm seeing when you come out of one thing gemini something better is on the horizon for you because it is coming from the separation someone just dragged you down someone really hurt you here there's a new opportunity on the horizon for you in terms of love i want to pull you out some guardian angel cards too and i have a new deck i want to use for you guys too we have intention aquarius had this here placing your intentions thinking about the future this is a really good time for the air signs to do that spirit is going to be granting some wishes this week we have healing involved as well so again there is something better on the other side of this you have some spirits around you here who are helping you with this uh focusing on the color green could be very important for you especially if you um the air signs are really having this about plants Maybe you need a nice little green plant in your home to look at and to, to touch every now and again. We have focus. So some of you are focusing on yourself here. Cleansing your own energy, which is so interesting. Okay, I'm going to use another deck just very quickly to see what other messages we can have for you guys for this week. Let's see. For Geminis, please, Spirit, what can you tell us? Thank you. I want one more. Thank you. <laughs> so obedient. We have cave. This says pay attention to your health. And we have I. Psychic ability. Trust your intuition here. All right, my angels. All right. I love you guys. I don't know why I keep doing that. I've been doing that in so many readings now. So maybe you could be buying a new hat, by the way. Nice. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. I wish you all the best for the week ahead. I will see you guys next time.